What's going on today, you guys? I hope y'all are having another good day. Welcome back to the channel. I had to drop a real quick video because I had to take a drink back there for some good news we got. So to yesterday, I got a phone call from the company Extreme Customs who I ordered the wheels from and the wheels are ready. That's right, the forged wheels are ready and they should be getting mounted balanced today and it should be getting shipped out within the next day to two days. So what that means is, is that the Cummins is gonna have a new set of wheels on it. So I'm extremely pumped, extremely excited. Um, the days of rocking, Oh, I'm blocking it. The days of rocking the black and milled wheels are coming to a slow end, but have no fear, we're gonna have new wheels here for the truck soon enough. Um, if you enjoy the news, please give me that thumbs up, smash the like button, all right? So I'm actually kind of caught off guard because I was expecting to have the lift on before the wheels were even done. It actually got done sooner than I expected. So what I was planning on was get the lift on, get all the work done I needed for the lift, and then from there, the wheels would get here around middle, end of February, maybe early March the latest and then it would slap the wheels on and call it a day well it turned out the wheels are done sooner so what that means is just the opposite we'll have the wheels on first and then we'll get the suspension once we get all our parts in for the suspension and we'll slap the 8 inch lift kit on and do stuff but before the 8 inch lift can even get on we have a lot of work to do I'm gonna be doing a complete under frame coat in all of, I'm gonna repaint the entire frame black again I'm gonna have to take all the wheels off uh, get a wire brush down there clean up all that stuff I want everything to be beautiful before we put the lift kit on, okay? So, let you guys get your last look of the Mega Slab before we throw on the uh, forge wheels because it's coming soon, it's coming soon. So be on the lookout, make sure you're subscribed, comment down below if you're excited for this because I know I am. Also, with that being said, these wheels are officially for sale. I put, a, I put a post on the community tab for the wheels being for sale. I got them on Instagram, on my story, on Marketplace, on Craigslist, on OfferUp. They're for sale. I'm asking $16,500, so $1,650, so, $1, so $1,650. Uh, OBO, no shipping, no none of that. I'm not driving anywhere to drop none, none of that. Local pickup. If you're in the Jacksonville, North Carolina area or Eastern North Carolina, uh, or if you just want to make the drive to Jacksonville, the wheels are here, 22 by 14 uh, Anthem equalizers, A751s, sitting on some RBP, uh, Roland Big Power Repulsor MTs, 37 by 1350 R22. Tires have tons of meat left. I mean, these probably have about 70% of the meat left on these tires. Been rotated every 5,000 miles, consistently random at about 55 PSI even tread wear no cup in none of that craziness just really good taking care of tires you guys know the wheels are ceramic coated uh, I put on my community post if any subscriber purchases these wheels I will throw in a little extra uh, gift for towards the wheels to kind of help keep them going and keep them looking good these wheels ride great no issues with them uh, curb marks I believe only on this wheel over here only on this wheel we have one one little curb mark but I mean get a touch-up pen it's on here somewhere or maybe I moved it back up here when I rotated I don't even know where it's at no more it's on here somewhere but I can't find it it's probably in the bottom somewhere there's a little curb mark about that about that big it's really not noticeable I can't even find it right now but um, these tires are super good I'll show you this side too very good tire wear wheels are clean no bends wheels aren't cracked ride good the tires are bead balanced so you know you don't have to worry about rebalancing them when uh the tires continue to wear down but that's that's it man so if you guys want to hit me up you can message me on instagram at everything underscore diesel or you can shoot me a email everything diesel at gmail.com if you're interested in the wheels um once the wheels are gone they're gone so you know man that bumper looks good oh my god i can't wait for the wheels to come in and y'all still don't know what the wheels are and, and i ain't gonna tell y'all until we get the wheels on but yeah so the plan is is that we're gonna paint i'm gonna paint all this stuff I want it to be clean. I'm gonna take the wheels off, cover the shocks. I know I'm, I know I got new shocks, but still, I'm gonna cover them. Cover shocks. Um, all of this, the whole shebang, man. I'm gonna have it looking tight. Uh, I want the whole frame looking pretty, just like up here, my front axle. It's black, but it could be better. I mean, my drive shaft. Up, oh, bump the camera. All that stuff there, man. I mean, the control arm is gonna be gone soon because I'm getting adjustable ones. But all that stuff I want cleaned up. I want it nice and pretty. So I'm gonna be taking my time and I will be filming everything. Uh, getting her looking right, man. But just imagine. Now look. Look at this this scene right here. It's a pretty it's a pretty 
dope scene, right? Like it looks beautiful. Now imagine it with some forged wheels sitting on it, right? You know what I'm saying? Some some 24 by 14s. Oh my goodness, on the eight inch lift, man. So it's gonna probably bring it up to like, I say about right there. It's, I'm not expecting it to go too much higher on the eight inch, but it will bring it up a little bit. We're gonna redo the grill. Actually, we're gonna get another grill and turn that white down there. So, oh man, it's gonna look so good, you guys. Cab lights will stay smoked. I can't wait. I'm so pumped. I, you guys, you guys don't understand, man. I hope you guys are excited, man, because I'm really excited. It's been long overdue. I've wanted forged wheels on this truck uh, probably since I put my first set of aftermarket wheels on here. I had some uh, 20 by 12 Vision Rockers. I think it's like 412s, um, 20 by 12s. Ever since then, I always wanted forged wheels, but the price point was just out of control. I finally got to a point where I was able to get into some forged wheels, brand new brand new tires on them i mean extreme custom by far had the best deal um they had a sale where it was 15 percent off i'm not gonna say how much i paid for it but if you go on the website find my wheels do do the math you can figure it out free shipping mount balance all that stuff they actually beat custom offset and i know a lot of people talk about custom offset they do have good deals and good wheels especially their archon brand i think it looks really good but extreme custom beat custom offsets price so I can't complain, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm a happy camper with that. Uh, we got more stuff on the way for the back window. We are gonna be getting a tenant. I need to get a tenant. I'm probably gonna do a 5% just cause I don't like the fact that I can see in there. Who remembers that? Yo, comment down below if you remember this. My OGs might know about that one. Ooh, it's been so long. But yeah, you guys, so, I mean, we got a lot of stuff. So this week, um, let's go in the garage and see. So we gotta do an oil change. I got a little road trip coming up. I'm gonna be going down to Florida for a couple days. So, gotta change the oil soon. Turn, get some light up in here. Let's see if this helps. Yeah, there we go. Gotta change the oil. We're gonna be putting the Amsoil Signature 5W30 Series oil in here. We're also gonna be doing some oil analysis comparisons because I have had a couple people that they, they were calling out Amsoil saying it's snake oil and all that stuff and we yada yada yada. So I'm gonna have a test I'm gonna be doing. Some people were like, oh, you use Amsoil's oil analysis testers, even though they're third-party companies, you still use them, so they might be unbiased. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be making a video where I send out samples to Amsoil testers and Blackstone testers, Blackstone Lab testers, who are, they're really well-known, have a good reputation, and we're gonna compare the oil stats. It's gonna be two used oil samples, samples, and oil sample samples. It's gonna be two samples, uh, oil samples, send them out to each company we're gonna see how the results compare what they say about each one um, I'm really curious about that but for the suspension if you're asking what we're waiting on I got to get an index ring kit for the, the front diff uh, or for the transfer case comment down below if you run an 8 inch lift on one of these trucks um, do you have an index ring for your uh, 4x4 transfer kit and if you don't comment and let me know how does it ride is it do you have that vibration is it crazy and if you do have it, does it help? Is it worth paying the 200, 180 bucks for it? Uh, cheapest one I found so far on eBay was 180 bucks. If any of you guys have an extra <laughs> transfer kit ring lying around and want to sell it to me, hit me up on Instagram, shoot me an email. I'll be more than glad to we can talk out something uh, like that. Um, so we got that. Still waiting on my, my long arm kit and my heavy duty sway bar kit from Ranet Ironworks. Uh, he's super backed up from the New Year's and from the flux of orders he's been getting, so it's taking a little longer than expected, but we're still waiting on that. Still gotta paint that. Still gotta get the traction bars that I never show you guys ever. <laughs> gotta get those weld, uh, painted and welded onto the truck. And then what we're also looking at doing is soon, with the, probably within the next two months, we're gonna be looking at getting the truck re-geared. Now, don't knock me for this, but this will be the first time that I take my truck to a shop to get something done that I myself am not doing. Uh, can I do it? Probably yes. Do I have the tools to do it? No, I don't. You got The biggest thing when it comes with that is the backlash, the bearing checks, the make sure you shim it right. And then if you mess up that crush washer, man, that crush bearing, you're done. You gotta get a, it, it, I ain't messing with it. So that would be the first time I will pay someone to do that. Uh, I'm gonna talk to the shop in advance and see if they're cool with letting me film in there. I know, uh, Steve over at Ram Beast Projects, or Beast Projects now, but I know he did it a while ago, about two years ago up there in uh, PA. But if the company lets me film in there, that'd be awesome. But if not, then I understand though. So we got stuff going on, man. We got a lot of stuff. Uh, please comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys got to say. You guys know I always get back to you guys, and if not, I try my best to get back to you within a reasonable time, even if it's not the same day. But um, changes are coming, changes are coming. So it's gonna be good, man. Uh, no pun intended, by the way. So yeah, 
I'm, I'm super pumped, man. I, I just had to drop this video, get you guys caught up what's going on. Um, you guys seem to really love the ceramic coating video. If you haven't checked it out, check out last video. Talked about ceramic coating, is it worth it? All that stuff. You guys seem to love that, and you guys killed and super love the white bumper on the truck. I'll show you guys that one more time. If you're curious how is it how it's doing, but uh, it's doing good, man. It's doing good. Tail light's doing good. This combo, man. We want to change that hitch out soon. I'm gonna be getting in touch with Gen Y Hitch, seeing if they're uh, willing to help the channel out a little bit. But it's coming together, man. And we got I got to order new chrome coming badges. I'm gonna get chrome ones now. Swap them out with the blacks. Get chrome ones here. I'm still on the fence. I'm probably just gonna end up color matching the door handles white. Call it a day. Uh, but yeah. So much stuff, so much stuff, but uh, uh, it's coming along, man. I'm just so pumped. What, last thing and I'm done, I promise. Okay, so in the first week of April, there is a truck show in, I believe it's Nashville, Tennessee, called Music City, Motor City, or is it M Music, Motor Music, or Music Motor City? I don't remember, but anyways, there's a truck show in Tennessee, I believe it's Nashville. Um, it's called, I'm pretty sure it's like M Motor Music City Truck Show. It's a huge truck show. It's kind of like Daytona, except this is the first year they're doing it there. I will be attending that show. It's a three-day show. Um, they're going to be having truck events and truck shows. I'm going to be entering my truck into the show. Uh, they have 20 different competition levels from best custom build to best budget build, best old school. They, they have a bunch of them. I'm going to enter the truck into that. This will be the first truck show I ever enter my truck into. I'm a little nervous, but also super pumped just to be around the truck culture, see other people's trucks. Tons of vlogging, tons of filming, it's gonna be awesome. Um, I'm going down there with the family. It's gonna be a good time. Um, if you know what the show I'm talking about, comment down below with the name of the show, and then also let me know if you're gonna be at the show because I would love to know that. Um, but until next time, you guys, I don't wanna keep talking because I can talk for the next 30 minutes. I need to have another, another live video. Comment down below if you want me to have a live video soon. Um, but yeah, so until next time, you guys, Thank you for watching. Like the video. Take it easy. Subscribe. Peace out. And have a good work week.